Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a review of this Flight Tory Talon 1400. Now this plane, I bought the STL files for this because I wanted um, a plane similar looking to this that um, Titan Dynamics made. And we all know now that Titan Dynamics they no longer sell to the hobbyist side. So you can't get any of their airplanes anymore unless you're a, um, a DOD contractor or you know um, from the military and stuff like that. So um, us hobbyists can no longer get those planes. And um, that's too bad because um, like I said, I wanted to get the airplane that looked similar to this and had very similar um, characteristics, but um, Anyway, I did a little searching around and I was able to find this Flight Tory, the Talon 1400. So I went ahead and purchased the files for it and went ahead and 3D printed everything up. Now this is printed with um, lightweight PLA. I use um, Polymakers and um, it has a, let's see here, make sure I get all the specifications correct. It has a 1.3 meter wingspan, fuselage is 830 millimeters long, and the all-up weight is 1,500 grams all the way up to 3,300 grams. So depending on what equipment you put in it will you know, dictate um, what it weighs and stuff like that, how many, how many batteries you put in stuff like this. But this particular plane can fly up to four hours. And that is a great flight time, um, four hours. And um, so, yeah. And also, like I said, this is printed with lightweight PLA. Also there's PETG. And um, I just use ASA for that instead of using PETG. I find um, when I print with PETG, um, I can't get a really nice print. And I can get a really good print with ASA. So I just use ASA every time something calls for um, PETG. But um, some people can print the PETG. I just haven't found a good setting for it. So um, yeah. And one other thing I like about this um, plane also, they provide you the step file in case you want to change some things of um, like the nose up here. If you want to change it to various um, um, different things you want to put up there. Like this is one of the, the files that comes with it, the nose. And it's for a gimbal and a camera goes down here up on the top and um, then that will go up there on the front. So there's various configurations that you can use with this. And then they have um, a different one, this one here. Go on the front here too. And printing this was very simple to do. It um, all the PLA parts are lightweight PLA. I just basically just used their settings and uh, went ahead and printed it, and everything came out great. And one thing I noticed here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a um, a gap between here and the other side over here because the part lifted a little bit on my bed. I wasn't watching it that much. I would have, um, if I had watched it, I would have stopped, pretty much um, stopped it and then reprinted it. But since I wasn't there, I wasn't able to do that. I just let it print and uh, when I came back. And then I, the reason um, I didn't um, print another piece for it is because then I printed these little flat strips like this. So then I'm just going to glue these over the top of this. So it's going to cover that, um, that whole little crack in there and give me a couple of stripes on this too, which look pretty cool. And I like that. What else we have here? Like I said, we talked about the modular nose, the different um, nose um, you can put on this thing, which is great. And it has two tail variants also that you can do. Now the airfoil for this is a Epler E205 and a lot of design um, work has gone into this. The guy who designed this, he's an aeronautical engineer and he loves flying RC models. And um, so he designed this. Now, um, let's see here. Um, we talked about modeling your nose. And one good thing about this too, when you go to the site and you look at this, he even gives all the links where you can buy 
everything for this plane. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Um, glue, hinges, um, the servos, the motors, uh, the type of filaments, and everything for this. So um, it's very comprehensive. And also, I download it and print it, the manual for this. And it's very comprehensive. A um, lot of information in here. And um, they give everything, the print settings, how things should be orientated when you print them, and everything. So this is a very good uh, manual to have. And um, it, very good. Now this particular plane, printing it, I've shown you guys, there's nothing, um, you know, difficult to design on this. Um, everything I've shown on my channel, you should be able to design this with no problem if you want to do such an um, airplane of this design. But me personally, I'd rather just buy the files and, um, because this is a great design. And um, instead of trying to scratch your own um, UAV, and um, this has the um, latch, comes off, the hatch. And lots of room down in here for battery and um, equipment that you can put down in here. And we have a back hatch too here. And we have carbon fiber rod that goes through here. There, there's two of them. And then there are um, bolts to hold the wings, um, the wings on in here. So you print those also. And then those will glue into here and the, then the bolts come in this way and the um, screws just, um, they're 3D printed too, they just screw onto these things to keep everything down inside of there. They'll keep the wings on and stuff. But yeah, this uh, is a very great design airplane. Now, will the Department of Defense or the Air Force or anything buy this particular plane? Um, if I had to guess, I would say yes, because this is a great design. And the size of it, there's just so much room up here, and it's not heavy um, at all. And um, I mean, the wingspan is longer than this. I just didn't. Um, I don't have the carbon fiber rods yet to put the, um, you know, the the um, to build the wings all the way out. And then we have the tips also that go on each end here, um, like that. I just don't have the carbon fiber rods as of yet to go ahead and fully assemble this. But um, yeah. But like I was saying, um, the military, I would say, yeah, they would buy something like this because this is a well thought out design and you can see it fly, go to the Flight Tory site on YouTube, Flight Tory, and also on um, Facebook. Go over there and have a look at their site too, um, their Facebook group. Lots of information over there and post questions and stuff like that too. So this, like I said, so just a lot of room for stuff inside of here. And being 3D printed, you could just print a bunch of these if you wanted to. And the motor for it. Now the motor that they suggest using, uh, which is this right here, it's a GART, G-A-R-T-T, ML4108, 500 kilovolt, or KV, I'm sorry, um, 500 KV. Every time I see KV, I think kilovolts, and that's not the um, correct um, um, for that. So yeah, but um, this is it. And what else do we have in here? That I can show you the various um, configurations. Um, if you use this nose up here front, then you have this. Yeah, it's upside down. That there. For the front up here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's different configurations. And you'll get the STL files for um, these in case you need to change stuff up front for that. And a battery. Um, and... Um, battery tray and electronic tray that goes down here too. Again, it's just a very well thought out um, plane. 
So the guy who designed this um, really nice designed airplane and something like this, it doesn't cost a lot of money to, to build. It only requires one roll of PLA, or excuse me, lightweight PLA to print this. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of money in doing this. And this motor, um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I think I paid something like $27 for the motor. And the, server, the servos for this, they're, um, they're like $10 each, $10, $11, maybe $12 at the tops. So printing something like this, it's very economic. And um, building a drone like this, it's to have this much um, area, you know, um, payload that can fly up to four hours, depending on the weight of this thing. It's just um, amazing, um, um, this design. It's pretty cool. And these are not glued on just yet either. These are just um, put on here. And it's just a standard wing, you know, as far as you're, if you're trying to design your own um, UAVs, just um, standard wing, you know. Nothing difficult about that. But the files for this, like um, go to flighttory.com and I will have a link in the description to go to the site to buy the files for this. And I would highly recommend that. I believe they're $30 if I remember what I paid for them. Yeah, $29.99, which is, you know, um, $30 and highly recommend it. And like I said, I like buying a lot of files and stuff like that because I learn a lot of things when I buy files and print the planes out, you know, for planes I want to do in a future design and everything, I learn um, a lot of things how to do um, certain things. And, um, you know, like this here has the two carbon fiber rods in here. And I think I showed you guys um, something about putting carbon fiber toe within the wing in case you need a long wing, um, which works great too. And so, um, something like this, you know, you can get the carbon fiber tubes at, um, you know, since this is a very short, the wingspan's not very long on this, it would be easier just to use carbon fiber um, tubing for this instead of doing the carbon fiber toe. Uh, because again, this is only um, 1,305 millimeter long wingspan. So, um, Again, the carbon fiber toe is just um, for this. I would not recommend doing that, something like this. Like the way they have it, this is just perfect um, for this application. And um, so yeah, so this just takes a servo uh, for each aileron. And then you have the, um, the um, for the tailorons, not tailorons, um, elevator. Back here, um, rudder, um, rudder elevator, rudder vader, I don't know, but um, the, um, just two servos for that. So this takes four servos. And like I said, you can have flight time up to four hours or something like this. So yeah, this is uh, really cool. I like this. And uh, so yeah. But anyway, if you have any questions about this or anything on my channel, just go ahead and leave a question down in the comments or go over to my Facebook group or my Patreon site or send me an email. My Facebook, uh, Facebook group and Patreon site is called Cad Bill Fly RC. And um, if you can, become a paid um, Patreon over on my Patreon site. A lot of um, designs and stuff on there that you can get. And if you have any questions, just um, you know, join that site and leave a question there. Or go over to my Facebook group and ask me a question over there and everything. Yeah, but um, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I just want to show you guys this uh, flight, Tori, the Talon 1400. And will it become a military drone? My, my guess is yes, it will. And so if you guys are wanting something like this, I would suggest going and buying, go ahead and getting the, um, the STL files for this or any of their planes because um, if this does become a military um, you know, or Department of Defense or commercial use, you may not be able to get, the, um, get these anymore. So if you're you know, sitting on a fence about it, just go ahead and get it and because I sat on a fence with the Titan Dynamics planes and now I can't get them anymore. And this here, is, and like I said, in my opinion, it's right for, you know, um, the, you know, the um, Department of Defense and commercial use. So yeah, this, this might go that way too. But um, again, 
if it does great i love it when um you know stuff like that the you know somebody who has a passion for this type of stuff and they make that their full-time job and they're able to you know get a contract with the government to you know to produce stuff like this for the government this is really cool to be able to do that those people so um, i hope this company is able to do that too and move forward like that and when the companies do that then other um hobbyists will come out to try to design and step things up again so yeah but anyway that's going to do it for this video and i hope you enjoy it and i will catch you in the next one subscribe for more